taking a little bit of a back seat from bike racing. Today, this morning, I've got York 10K running race. So a few considerations. The race is at half nine. Race day breakfast, not only does it need to be very light, very easy to digest, but also for me, it needs to be about three hours before the event. So obviously I need to factor that into my morning. So. The race is at half nine. We're getting there for about half eight. I'll be starting my warm for about nine o'clock. Um, and therefore, my breakfast needs to be at half six. So bearing that in mind, what time do I need to get up? Well, I set my alarm this morning for about 10 to six to allow me time to get up, you know, go to the toilet, um, have a coffee. I always prefer to have a coffee before I start my breakfast and actually allow that hunger to just start to come in a little bit. Um, what will that breakfast be? Well, that breakfast for me this morning, I've tried it before. Um, it's gonna be a cinnamon and raisin bagel. That's it. Um, for me, that is a very light breakfast and it's easy to digest. It's enjoyable and it gives me enough carbohydrates to fuel that performance, but not too much. Other considerations, one of the main, main things for me is I like to get up early. I like to have my coffee early to kickstart my digestion, to kickstart my food processes. Because for me, uh, without being too explicit, I know I need to go to the toilet at least once before that race. If I haven't gone to the toilet for number two before that race, there's a problem. Um, I'll feel heavy. And I'll probably feel the urge to go in the race, which isn't good. Um, so having a coffee nice and early will just kickstart that and, and get things moving. Other considerations is caffeine. So I'm having a, a cup of coffee now, three hours before the race. Um, I will have another two to 300 milligrams of caffeine about an hour before the race. Um, not recommended for everyone. Everyone's dose response is different. Try it before you use it in race. Um, you may not even respond well to it at all. So try it in training um, if you're interested. But yeah, for me, a big performance enhancer. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to have my breakfast. It's three hours before. It's exactly half past six now. And then I'm going to take the dog for a walk and talk to you a little bit more. <laughs> So, had my breakfast and then straight out with the dog. Um, I always like to get a good half an hour, 20 minute dog walk in um, on race morning. First reason I guess is to give me a little bit of headspace and a little bit of kind of thinking time. Um, or at least when I'm not vlogging, it's a little bit of thinking time anyway. Yeah, just kind of bring myself into that kind of race head, I guess. Um, but the other reason for it is just to essentially get my body moving. Um, you know, I've been lying down in bed for eight, eight odd hours. And uh, although I do a very specific warm up when I get there for like 20 minutes, um, there is a lot to be said for kind of just progressively getting your body moving. So just the act of walking helps digestion. It helps my breakfast digest and, and assimilate. Yeah, today is like 
an opportunity to go full gas in 10k and see where I'm at in that but equally I know that um, the better times are to come in a couple of months time so anyway for now um, I'm gonna stop recording for a bit I'm gonna finish this dog walk and I'm gonna get back and then I've got about half an hour to brush my teeth get my kit on get dressed get my daughter sorted um, my wife's coming with me today as well um, and then yeah set off to the race drink for on the way post race protein with carbohydrate recovery shake more just plain orange squash and then this is pre-race carbohydrate mix to keep topping me up The reality of dad life is that I was wanting to set off for like half seven, but my daughter didn't get up till 20 past seven. So she's gonna have a quick breakfast and then we're gonna set off roughly 10 minutes late-ish, which will still be ample amount of time for me to do what I need to do when I get there. You enjoying your breakfast? Um, 20 to 9 and my race is at half 9 we've just arrived I've just popped a caffeine tablet um, and uh, yeah I'm just going to head to towards the toilets for a quick toilet visit um, and then yeah I'll probably start my warm up roughly 9 o'clock One thing that I've noticed walking around, jogging around, is that the course is not fast. There's a lot of like dead turns, a lot, there's a lot of kind of, um, you know, really steep U-turns, which obviously you have to back your pace right off to be able to run around. It sounds insignificant, but when you're going for a PB, if there's like three or four U-turns in it and a few tight turns, it all, um, it all has its effect on on your time i'm going to go full gas i'm going to try and stay with some people who are going a little bit faster than i want to go and we'll see what happens but uh yeah not necessarily expecting a, a pb time today so about 15 minutes before the start of the race now and i've started to really build up the intensity of my warm -up. um still under race pace but just progressively getting the heart rate up now and then I'll do a couple of race pace efforts, short ones um, then put my race shoes on and then do a few strides about 10 minutes before the start and I'm ready So race done, 
Um, bit of a cool down jog done now as well. And uh, heading back to the van to get my recovery shake and, uh, and me and the wife and my daughter are gonna head into town for a bit of an afternoon around the shops and stuff. Um, in terms of the day, in terms of the race, um, certainly wasn't my best. Um, I the, the time was about a minute slower than my PB. Um, a lot of that can be accounted for the course. Uh, the, there was a lot of twisty turns. There was a few undulations, and also it was quite windy in places. It wasn't as fast as I thought. Um, although there wasn't loads of elevation change, it's amazing how a few dead turns and, a, and twisty turns can play quite a big effect on the overall time. You know, there's a few sections where you know you, you are more or less coming to a standstill just to turn a, a very steep turn, and uh, you know it, that added up maybe five, six times in the, in a course can have quite a big effect on your time. Um, but also, I didn't feel great. I'm not going to lie. Um, my legs felt all right for the first maybe two, three k, and then my wheels fell off. Um, I uh, I was really struggling and I just had that sensation of legs being absolutely full and not being able to pick up the pace. Uh, I kind of just settled into a pace that I was just about manageable, which was about five, 10 seconds a mile slower than I should be running. Um, and then managed to pick it up a little bit with half a mile to go, but um, just cause I knew that the finish was there. But yeah, it was definitely, definitely not a great event for me. Um, it was there or thereabouts, but there's more to come, definitely. So, race done. Uh, it's, it's about two hours after I've finished now. Um, and uh, me and the wife have come into York to do a little bit of shopping and um, finally kind of come back down to baseline. Uh, it, it wasn't uh, my best race by any by any means. Um, I got to about 4K and the wheels fell off, so to speak. My legs were absolutely in pieces. Um, there's a few things, my warm up could have been a little bit better, I think. I still got about 15 minutes, 20 minutes of running in and some strides and so on, but I could have done with some bit more intensity towards the end of that warm up, which would have kind of flushed my legs out a little bit better so that, um, so that yeah, that first few miles of decent pace wouldn't have taken it out of me so much. Um, but my time was a uh, 35.20-ish, um, so about a minute off PB time. A lot of that will have been down to the course, um, so there was a, a few sections that were really twisty turny, a few dead turns, and it's amazing how five, 10 seconds here or there, a, a few tight turns can make quite a big effect on, um, on your overall time. It was also windy, um, so yeah, it wasn't a fast course by any means, but yeah, it, it also wasn't my best race and I did get caught in a bit of no man's land uh, without someone to kind of pull me on. But yeah, back in, in York now um, and we're just going to have a nice walk around town for a few hours and uh, have a bit of family time and uh, time to put the video away and, um, and be a husband and a dad again. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. See you in a bit.